Okay, hi there guys. Welcome to the third tutorial regarding our library management system. Um, okay, so first of all let me quickly check what did we do last time. So we talked about the development steps, we spoke about what are we gonna do for the let me see preparation, DB objects, stuff, information, shelves, books, um, something about students, right? Students tables. Okay, so let me see. So we talk about, well, let me see where is that. Shelves, student information, books table. What about the borough history? And, uh, okay. Let me see, maybe we need to work on a little bit on the web thing here. The web, so let me see. There are a few things that I'm missing, I'm sure. Right? Sorry it's taking me some time, but I, I need to remember what did I do last time. Um, usually I will do this in one go, but you know, because these are a number of videos, so it shouldn't be that long. Okay, so here this is gonna be what? This is gonna be web user account. So here this is gonna be web user account. So what do we have? We have um, define web account table. Okay. Um, you could associate this with the student, but I want to separate them. Okay. Two. Um, what do we have also? Right, so web user account, uh, student identification. Okay, so define web account table and uh, define web account object. We are going to define this. Okay, um, um, create an account. There you go. Um, so next you want to do what uh, this is a web interface right so this is creating an account change password okay five and here user a login okay so this is the web interface now we're gonna speak about the interfaces uh, itself so GUI web register account okay uh, 7 GUI web uh, login 8 GUI web display let's say workspace and 9 GUI web um, well, workspace what do we have we also need to change password okay of course there are more things that should be done um, okay so this is one of the tables let me check the other one so staff information I believe we, we did that right so shell staff info okay that's good that's good okay let's go back here staff information we have the finds table okay so let's speak about the Finds table, yeah. So <coughs> let me see shelves. Okay, so here this is gonna be finds table. Okay, so first this is gonna be define finds table. To uh, this is gonna be what define finds object. Okay. That's free. Um, add a new find for uh, okay. Link a find to a book. Okay, let me check something quickly. Just remember. So amount status. Okay, change five. I think I don't think that uh, change find status or status how do you spell that I'm not sure and five GUI display finds for 
stuff. Okay. Six. GUI. Search finds. Seven. GUI. Pay finds. Eight. GUI. Um, web. Okay, so here we have um, pay find. Uh, this is going to be sorry web display finds so there are two places to view the finds one on the web one on the uh, one on the you know for uh, for the staff and uh, yeah and nine uh, update uh, staff system to alert uh, staff about student who did not pay fines okay so for example if he tries to um, you know borrow a book and he have to pay fines um, okay in that case he must pay the fines first the system would prevent something like that okay and uh, yeah I guess this is the fines table what do we have also uh, we have book waiting queue, right? So book waiting queue. Let me see. Uh, sorry, queue. So let me make sure I didn't uh, shelves. Okay, never mind. So what we have to do is define. Uh, Q table okay this is gonna be one two define um, um, Q object okay three add item to the uh, to the queue four this is gonna be the few things that I forget here and here about loading. Uh, we can ignore them here. It won't be that complicated. Add item to the queue. Load item from the queue. Okay. And five. Um, update queue for information. Okay. So add, load, update. What do we have to do next? Um, we could say um, add load update. Okay, so here we have to do what? GUI display uh, queue for book. There you go, seven. A GUI web display queue for book. Okay. Um, yeah you want the student when he's gonna reserve a book you want the student to know how many other students are booking that uh, sorry are waiting for that same book so when he's gonna get it okay display queue for the book okay that's good that seems fine what do we have to do next let's see dun 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 okay so um, let me see waiting student shelves with okay so the book borrow history table let me check this did, did we do that I'm not sure I hope I I did the preparation stuff shelves books um modify existing book test books okay um, there are things about test that I forget to put in here so I will need to add the test over here later on anyway so although the tests are not available in these modules but we are gonna do them okay um, here book borrow confirm so here first one define book borrow info okay two define book borrow gosh borrow object and this is the and the next one three define book um, 
what do we have we have to uh, sorry this is gonna be add a new bar borrow information for uh, load borrow object okay and five um, what do I want to do next um, GUI display borrow information okay mm, I guess that will be it okay so basically this um, I'm sorry uh, these are the very basic stuff let me see so what also do we need to do you can see here total time 40 uh, 84 okay so there are other things that need to be done okay um, of course there are testing which I forgot to add in the in these table like this one this one this one and this one okay we are gonna do that um, we have to do some other stuff like uh, maintain uh, okay backup and restore for example for the database so first um, we need to do something like um, um, save raw to disk okay and oh sorry save save field to disk okay to save row to disk three save table to disk okay and four we have save what so save fi uh, field row and table save uh, db to disk that's good and now th this is the backup um, GUI backup uh, backup window window there you go and six we have what we have load field field from disk there you go seven we have what we have load uh, what also load row from disk there you go eight um, we have to load table from disk and nine uh, load DB from disk and ten uh, GUI restore window okay and also we have other stuff like what uh, first uh, create setup um, creating a setup shouldn't be very very difficult create wait a second wait create setup for admin uh, sorry for staff and two creating creating setup set up for web app there you go <coughs> so we have these things okay um, and I hope this will be easy enough for you guys um, okay so I'll save that so all in all it's about 96 about 100 steps uh, of course uh, there will be much more than that but um, you know these are the basic things um, and although the number of steps seems a lot it doesn't mean the system is difficult it's kind of e and it's kind of an easy system but um, it takes patience and time to to make it okay like like any other program so I'll stop the recording and start again to um, to con uh, you know get rid of this sync problem okay so now we are gonna start programming here so the first thing of course before I start uh, you can do more on analysis on the project and put other developments to, but now let's work on programming so the first thing we have is to define DB objects and what I mean by this is that um, when you're gonna work with the database there are 
some steps that are repeated again and again and again and these are opening database connection beginning at, uh, a new transaction um, uh, creating a command object passing the parameter to the command object and stuff like that and when you are doing this a lot your code will get repeated again and again and again so usually I create an object to manage these things and uh, these help isolating the complex code away from me okay so let's work on that so first thing we have this project okay and uh, what I want to do here is organize it a little bit this is a standard Windows application but I removed the uh, the form from it. So, well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a few things. So, uh, I'm going to start with folders because I want to make things organized. So, this is going to be DB objects, for example. Okay. Uh, or let's say database. Database. Okay. So, this is going to contain the database. No problem. Right. And uh, another folder will be for notes. Okay. And I'm going to put this one here and another folder let's see this folder will be for what this is going to be for graphical user interface and for that um, maybe i shouldn't have removed the window but i'm going to use windows form this is going to be main window main window add um, for this i'm going to right click properties you know just don't want to okay have any error so this is going to be win main window no problem with that okay um what do we have to do now also so now it's okay so now we are gonna start working with the database um for this we're gonna need to add a reference um uh, sorry i need to create database first i haven't created that so right click here and select add new item and from the list you can you're gonna choose what local database or you could use data and from that you'll have fewer options and you can see database here okay so this is gonna be LMS there you go and hit add there you go um, this is gonna pop up it's asking you if you want to you know um, create database objects you don't want uh, I'm not gonna use the designer okay uh, I'm gonna do it the hard way next uh, what am I gonna do is uh, a few other things um, I'm gonna right click here and select add and I'm gonna add uh, my first class okay and this class will be used to manage the connectivity with the database and do stuff like that so this is gonna be what uh, DBMS database management system co con uh, OBJ okay so this is gonna manage all the stuff okay or let me call it dbms class okay no problem so I'm gonna say add here there you go okay so a few notes this class will be used to manage connectivity with the gosh database okay so based on the type of the database management system you want to create the correct uh, connection object uh, you want to create the correct uh, transaction object and stuff like that so for this type um, I believe we need to add a specific reference so I'm gonna add a reference here I'm gonna choose .NET let's search for what system wait, wait a minute so we have system data right we have system data oracle okay so there is system data square server ce okay um if you are going to use another database management system maybe you'll need to use different class anyway so i'm going to choose this one i'm going to hit okay there you go now we need to define a few things first we need to define the connection string so define the connection gosh connection string there we go so dimension or let's say private connection gosh connection str uh, string or let's say 
dbms connection string equals okay so the name is a little bit long so how do i uh, do we get the connection string well actually it appears here i could just click it and go to the properties window there you go copy that i'm a good thief just stole this from visual studio thank you for the work okay so there you go so uh thanks to visual studio we got the connection string next we are gonna define a few mem uh, few members define gosh and uh, define the connection connection private dbms connection obj as uh, this is gonna be system data sql uh, sql server ce dot what uh, sql sql ce connection there you go so you have this guy another guy we need is define the what define the transaction so private dbms uh, transaction obj as system data sql server ce sql ce transaction there we go so we define these guys and now we are going to create a method that will open the connection to the database open database connection there you go so public function uh, open db okay a string so this function is going to return a string if everything's okay it's going to return okay if not it's going to return uh, a string representing what uh, telling you what the error is so try in this case I'm going to say dbms dbms connection object equals a new system data scroll ce scroll um, ce connection I'm going to say dbms connection string okay so this looks like a lot of typing lots of work for a few things right but basically it makes things easier later on when you are revisiting your code okay so here open the connection there you go so we created this guy dot open so we open the connection create the transaction there you go so we have this guy oops dbm dbms uh, transaction object equals uh, dbms connection object dot begin transaction okay so all works well uh, turn okay gosh spelling of okay okay now if anything goes wrong we're going to say return what return ex dot message okay so this way we can make sure that if this one works well we're going to get okay anything other than okay it means there's an error okay so we can check that okay so you finish this one and uh, we said we're going to test our work so how do we test our work well there are many ways to do it there's a framework for testing but we are gonna create a separate project so this is first a project I'm gonna save that I'm gonna say here right click and add uh, pay attention to this you try to click the solution select add and select new project and from this you are gonna browse and select the library management system select the folder and then use what test okay so this is gonna be the test of project hit OK now a uh, few things to do first I would like to change this to test uh, test testing window for example okay so this is gonna do some test or work you want this to be the same um, as the other project so this is gonna be 32-bit okay now we want to access the functionality that is in the first project Bec to do that uh, you right click here and select add a reference 
Now from add reference you are gonna go to projects which means you want to access functionality in another project and select the library management system hit OK and uh, there we go so this one um, looks okay so far um, to organize our test we are gonna put two list box ta -ta 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 -ta. JKL so this is a list box this is the first guy and this is gonna be the second guy there you go okay so we have these two guys no problem okay this is gonna be what one for successful test oops go down here successful test and the other is for failed tests go so this is gonna be failed tests maybe I should add an S anyway okay put a button okay I'm gonna say go okay it doesn't have to be you know very organized but you know something to make it appealing so start all tests okay so you might you might want to organize this a little bit so here so this is gonna be test dbm gosh dbms class open connection method okay so okay here so how do you do we do that we are gonna say here simply dimension obj as new library management system the name of the project dot our class okay so now f obj dot open db uh, uh, equals okay then everything's working fine so list box one dot items dot add um, test zero one okay okay so here I'm gonna maybe I should put some kind of number here okay okay so this one here um, else list box two dot items dot add test zero one failed there you go so this is a very simple thing we're gonna add up as, uh, as, as we go we're gonna add to this okay now if we want to run the project the first project will be get executed so if we run this here this is the first project we want to run the testing project so right click on the test here and select set as a startup project okay there we go and uh, I'm gonna save that and uh, run wish us luck wish me luck go oops I put a breakpoint oops okay so test one okay so we were able to open a connection to the database now we are gonna do a little bit more other functionality more useful functionality so here uh, I'm gonna do something interesting so um, define what define oops I'm sorry about that define the um, before I do that let me stop and start the recorder again okay sorry okay so um, I'm gonna do the next step which is defining uh, the commands okay define the command the command uh, commands object okay so private dbms comma commands as a list of um, what this is gonna be system data SQL server CE SQL server CE SQL server CE where's that CE command there you go okay and the reason for this one this is gonna remember the um, commands that have to do with uh, you know reading data <coughs> okay and uh, yeah 
So in this case, we're going to need to go to the constructor in order to initialize it. Or we can, you know, also put it in the open database, okay? Because you always want to open the database. Okay, so here, create the transaction. I'm going to say uh, set the, or let's say prepare the um, commands list. Okay, so all we have to do is going to say dbms commands equals new list of um, system data SQL server CE SQL uh, CE where's that CE command there we go so we finished this one okay and what do we want to do also um, okay dun, 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 I guess yeah so before I, I go any further, uh, let's go to the database design. So we have a few things here. Now one of the things that I think, uh, one thing that um, we might need is some kind of a table to store variables. It's not here, but you know, let me just create it at least for test, you know, just for testing. So on the tables, I'm going to say create table here. This is going to be what? Let's call it vars, okay? So it, it's going to have two columns. The first column is var name for variable name, and um, uh, uh, okay, um, var char. Let's say max. This is a prime. Oops, sorry. Oops. So let's say. Let me make this primary key, and of course, uh, yeah, and this is going to be what var value. Okay, this is going to be mostly for testing, but also it will be used in few cases, I guess. Maybe, maybe we won't use it at all, but in that case, we can delete it later on if we don't use it. So, um, this is going to be also 1000 character. And um, yeah, so it's called vars. I'm gonna say okay here. So now we have this table vars. Now, one of the things that I want to make make it easy for me when uh, working with the database is, um, you know, um, executing SQL commands. Okay, so here, um, this is used to. Um, to run SQL, to run SQL commands. So here, this is going to be something like this: public function or <coughs> public. I'm going to make it a subroutine. Okay, execute SQL. Okay. And this won't check for true or false because if there's any kind of error, I'm gonna throw an exception here. Okay, or actually, it's gonna throw an exception by itself. So here um, uh, we are gonna say SQL a string, this, and then we are gonna have a param array obj. There we go. Okay. Per Oh, wait a second. Uh, what was wrong with this guy? Typed. Okay, the parameters are gonna be oops, as object. Object. So, in case you don't know what a uh, param array is, um, it means that you are gonna write a function that receives a variable length of par uh, uh, variable number of parameters, and you're gonna receive these as array. And here, uh, the type will be object. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to build the command object. Okay, so dimension cmd as new ole. Uh, gosh, I'm sorry. Uh, system data. SQL server CE, SQL CE command. 
Okay, so what this needs is a number of things. So it's going to need um, a command text, which is SQL, and there is um, the command uh, connection. Uh, so I can see me dot connection object. Okay, so this is the first thing. The next is uh, add the parameters parameters to the SQL command. There we go. So how do we do that? How do we uh, perform such thing? Uh, well, dimension IELTS integer. Gosh, I'm sorry. Integer. We're gonna loop on this obj array. Okay, so for i equals zero to obj dot length minus one, um, cmd dot parameters dot add with value. Okay, so what's the parameter name? I'm gonna use add symbol. Put uh, combine it with i and pass what obj. Now you might be wondering, we haven't worked anything about the library management system while well, preparation is the key later on everything will be much easier so obj of i you need to be patient okay a patient okay so you finish this everything works well now finally run the sql okay this is going to be cmd dot execute non query there you go so this execute the query no problem and finally we, uh, we are going to also need to do something here. Uh, another function is commit and rollback. We are going to test this in a second. Okay, This function is used to commit a transaction. Oh, I forgot something here. The command needs also an active transaction. Yeah, me dot... what's that? Yeah. So the command needs a SQL a connection and a transaction. We, saw we are supplying the three of them here. Okay, so this one is used to commit the transaction. So public function commit. Uh, actually, this is a subroutine. Okay, so me dot transaction dot what commit. There we go. And me dot transact gosh dbms transaction object equal me dot the connection object dot begin a new transaction so as soon as you commit a transaction you are starting a new one okay um same go is true for rollback okay this function is used to rollback a trans transaction so pub public sub gosh rollback there we go so me dot dbms transaction object or rollback so we cancel any kind of changes here and again we repeat this um, same statement so we are gonna add a single row to the database, commit the changes, and uh, then delete that. Now, check how easy it's gonna be. Okay, so the columns here. Let me see. Var name, var value. So let's go to our test project. Okay. So next. Dun dun dun. Okay. Test zero two. DBMS class. Um, what are we gonna do? We are gonna add record. Oh, sorry. This is gonna be about what execute SQL. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Okay. There we go. So I'm gonna say try. And the reason here, uh, if any kind of error happens, we are gonna catch it. Okay. So, obj dot execute sql. I'm gonna say insert into uh, vars. Uh, okay, values. And here at zero, at one. These are the two parameters I want to fill. And the, for the first parameter, I want to put. Uh, 
Hello? Hello everyone. Okay, so hello everyone. These are the values I want uh, to get saved and then obj.comet. I want to save these changes. I want to see them. Okay, if any kind of error happens, I'm going to say obj.rollback. I want to cancel any kind of changes that happen. Anyway, if all goes well, I'm going to say the second test is okay, otherwise the second test failed. There we go. Okay, it's very simple. Insert a statement, these are the parameters, and commit. No problem. Save. And now... Oh, before I run the test, I'm sorry, just to prove that everything, uh -huh, this is gonna work. Right click here, I'm gonna do show table data. Nothing, right? So, run the program. Go. And it's working. Now, let's go back here. Let me close this. Right click on vars, show table data. You can see hello and everyone. This is it. So, what am I gonna do? Um, I'm gonna execute another statement here. Instead of committing, actually, um, I can roll back right away. Okay? So, um, here I added a record. I'm gonna try to execute another statement. So, obj. Execute SQL delete from vars where var name equal add zero. So you can see here, and I want uh, the variable name to be hello. There we go. And um, I want the changes to be permanent, the deletion to be permanent. So obj dot commit. So okay. So in this case, so I won't see anything, but it's it's working fine because it's inserting and deleting. So I'm gonna run this again. Uh, oh, it won't work because there will be duplicate value in this uh, here. Okay. So before I run anything, let me just show the value here. Show table data. Delete and say okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I had to do that. So it's gonna insert, save the changes. It's gonna delete whatever there is. Uh, uh, sorry, the same record and save the changes. So let's go back here. Go. Okay. Close it and show table data. Okay. Nothing. Um, you can, if you would like to, you can just comment this out and run this. Click it. Okay, show the table data. You can see the value here. If you want to see that the delete is working, you can just remove this one here, remove this one here, and comment the first one. So no insert, we're gonna only run delete. Run this again. Go. And it's working again. And right click show table data. Okay, so all is looking fine. Anyway. So, um, you know, this is just a, an example. So, another thing I'm gonna do here, um, I want to put more than one record. Okay, so to insert more records, I'm gonna do something like this. Okay, um, this is gonna be hello one, sorry, hello one, hello two, hello three. And everyone one, everyone two, everyone three. And the reason uh, I'm doing this is because for the next thing, in many cases I want to um, to read data from table row by row, and I want something to help me do that. Okay, so this is where the next thing comes in. This is where the um, the commands list is gonna work. Okay, so here this function is used to create a result set. There we go. So public sub or actually this is going to be a function. Okay, 
create result set. Uh, okay. And this is gonna be what? This is gonna be SQL, a string, and there is also param, params array, param array. This is gonna be obj, two brackets, as object. This is gonna return a string. Now, okay. So I'm gonna need a special variable command calendar so private dbms command calendar okay as long okay so dbms command calendar prepare command calendar dbms command calendar equals zero there we go so first thing I'm gonna do here dbms command calendar plus equal one which means it increases by one next we're gonna create something very similar to this so we're gonna copy these guys okay we are gonna paste this one here okay and next next uh, well Hmm. What are we gonna do is uh, <coughs> maybe I needed I need to create some kind of an a structure for them. But anyway, I'm gonna do it uh, the way it is now. Okay. So here, dimension R S as or actually R S equals cmd dot uh, execute reader let me see reader execute results set yep so this is gonna return what this is gonna return a result set okay mm, dun 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 dun. yeah so um, result sets help you do what uh, Okay, so I'm gonna need to do something. Options none. Uh, scrollable. Let me scroll both forward and backwards. Sensitive. Made to data source. Updatable. Well, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna use an insensitive one. So, okay. So basically, this will allow me to. Um, read data row by row without a problem okay okay now read the data read the data okay so I'm gonna need to do something here something very specific uh, I need to remember the name uh, give each command a specific ID or name so I'm gonna need another thing here private dbms command code as list of long okay there we go common code so where's that what's this function return as long fresh sorry it's gonna return okay so next command code oops me the dbms command ms command code dot add what dbms command counter there we go and also we have me dot dbms command commands dot add cmd and also we need to do what we need to put the rs here uh, record set uh, commands objects and result sets okay <coughs> private dbms result set as list of um, system data 
SQL Server CE, SQL Server. Result set, there we go. Okay. Now, this is getting a little bit complex, right? Um, that's not that complex actually. We are just, you know, just tracking. This will help us track things later on. So here, where is that? We have to do what? Not uh, demos. Where is that? Result sets. Object command connection result sets dot add rs. There we go. So all is fine. And finally, read data and here store objects in list and finally what we need to do is to return uh, the code the counter here and you need to store the counter somewhere because uh, it's an, an important thing you, you will need that in order to read the data and, and do stuff with it okay so um, okay you might feel that this is useless we uh, we are doing lots of work but be patient please okay so we finished this one we created the, re the result set next we're gonna need to close the result set right uh, this function is used to close a result set so all we have to do is say this public function function close result set okay um, and um, and then br as long there we go so we are gonna need to search for uh, the result set and get the command and the uh, you know so the dimension uh, Oops, dimension i of integer for i equals zero to uh, need a dbms commands dot length or count let's say minus one maybe this um, I need to change its name to codes right so dbms command codes okay okay so fdbms command code of i equals nm of i equals nmbr then in that case a few things happens we need to cr close the result set so we could say that me dot dbms result sets of i dot close okay so we close this one. I wonder if we could dispose it in order to return resources. So we dispose the result set and the same will c happen to the command, right? So we uh, wait a second. We need to do two things before that. So uh, okay let me say this dimension r equal the first guy dimension c for command equal me dot dbms command dbms command uh, what is that okay now I chose very similar names and uh, now I'm regretting it because yeah the stuff long yeah okay so this one need to be commands DMS commands right so this needs to be changed to what command command code there we go okay uh, commands what 
commands of I, right? There we go. So, <coughs> uh, before I do anything, so find the command and result set. So I got to these. Get the objects. Now remove remove the objects from the list. So what do we do now? We need to do this. We're gonna say that dbms result says dot remove at location i and also me dot um, dbms commands dot remove at location i and me dot dbms uh, uh, command code dot remove at i okay so we remove the you know everything related to the command from the list now we need to return the resources return the resources so we have what r dot close r dot dispose and so the same goes for command r dot I think it's only dispose yep so all looks well and I'm gonna say return and this should be a subroutine so okay now if this is not there I'm gonna throw an exception uh, through exception through let's say a new exception I'm sorry I'm gonna create an error in the program uh, the command or result set does not exist there you go so yeah now the work is not finished okay so we will need to do a little bit more than that right so we're gonna create uh, this function this function is used to uh, read a single record from DB from database okay so public function read and not EOF end of file okay and here there is what command code or let's say I need to choose a good name for that what's uh, this is gonna be code as long as boolean so again do a search uh, for i equals zero to um, dot dbms command code dot count minus one let me say rename and put an s so that I can distinguish it command codes okay so if dbms uh, command codes of i equal code then in that case um, return what I'm gonna return dbms uh, result sets of i dot read uh, sorry uh, advance okay so read okay so basically the read command is gonna read and check if you reach to the end of file or not okay so you pass the code for that okay no problem um and the reason by the way the reason i am having a code here is because every uh, um, later on you might need to run multiple sql statements and read multiple record sets at the same time so you distinguish between them using the code here okay um so let's save that okay and now let's uh get the column value this function is used to get um, a column value from DB so public function get column value so what do we have here we have uh, 
code as long col column name as string and this function should return as object so here wait a second let, let me go to this one if it's not uh, found through new exception um, command or result set does not exist sorry you know just to make it all having same standard behavior so um, again for I oops again dimension aisles long um, again here dimension aisles gosh long for I equals zero to uh, me dot dbms commands dot uh, uh, count minus one and again if dbms uh, codes well actually the codes and commands should be the same size so of i equal code then I'm gonna say return uh, dbms result sets of i dot what dot uh, I can say item of and here I need to pass the name of the column so there's gonna be column name that's it and finally I will throw an exception if nothing is being executed well we're gonna, we might need few other functionalities but I will add them later on so now this this is kind of ready for you know our work so you will I hope you'll understand what's, what's going on with this class when we run the um, test so let's go to the test here I'm gonna create a third test here okay so put one here gosh so there's gonna be test zero gosh test zero three dbms class execute or read read the result set there we go let's go here okay there we go so again try so we added these three records here and by the way I won't commit anything reason is later on when I run the uh, the, uh, the uh, SQL command again um, I don't want to uh, uh, find the previous values so basically I will roll back everything okay so here this is what am I gonna do dimension gosh, dimension L equal obj dot create result set and now there's gonna be what select star from uh, vars okay so do while dpa uh, sorry obj read and not end of file uh, this is gonna be what this should be let me say L okay so here's some processing so dimension V or okay equals obj dot get column value so the code is L the co uh, the result set is L the column is what bar name okay so we will get this value and next what are we gonna do we are going to say obj dot close result set um, l. It's as simple as that. Um, finally, after we do that, this means everything worked fine. Okay. Test three successful. If not, test three failed and by the way all we have to do is this finally obj dot rollback there we go and I don't need to put this one here
okay so let's try it out we can save hopefully it works from the first time I usually make mistakes but please work uh, what's that transaction cannot be a part of the any other cursors in this okay let's see so um, let me run let me see so this one um, I told it to close let us see so go here okay so we read this one so F10 What's the exception here? Object reference not set instant of object. What's that? Let's go back here. Create result set so F11. Okay, command counter. There's gonna be two. SQL here. Um, this is available. This is transaction. Okay, no problem. The object. Yeah. So nothing here. Execute. So CMD go. So this one is fine, right? So record set seems alright. So DBMS command codes. Okay, this one is what's regarding error. Uh, I forgot to initialize a few things here. I'm sorry. So go back here. Um, the commands. Control C, where's the open database? Yeah. We have this guy equals new list of long, right? Um, and also we have uh, dbms result sets equals a new list of um, system data SQL, gosh, SQL server E, uh, SQL server. See, where is that? Result set, there we go. It should be something like that. Yep, and save. Let's hope all goes well. Go. So, go, and now it's working. So, this is going to be the first value. You can see this is the first variable. This is the second variable, right? And this is the third variable. Okay. We close this. We add OK. And we roll back. No value are saved in the database. Okay. So now it's working. And actually, um, we can run any kind of SQL statement here. Um, we can specify parameters if needed. And, uh, you know, now this is going to make our work very, very, very easy. Okay. We might need to add a few other features, a few things, but um, all in all, this is okay. This is good. So, um, progressing for this one, one. So we finished one step out of 96. Okay. <laughs> so um, I hope you know you guys won't be discouraged with this, but this is preparation, although it took time, it's an important one. Um, and as for the rest you'll find we're gonna mm, move a little bit faster over time and the reason is this one because of this one because this makes things a little bit easier okay so um, I hope you'll find this useful the uh, the uh, source code will be available on the website if you would like to download that uh, I will be uploading this to the new website not the old one uh, the new website is mkasoft.com without a dash in the middle. I hope later on I will, you know, redirect the domain name um, to the new site. Um, if you have any suggestions or notes, you can send it to the old email uh, notes at mka-soft.com or the new one notes at mkasoft.com. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.